Hi there, internet friends. Lori Glimmer here, and I'm doing my first transformation video. It's the new year, 2019, better known as 2019. I was in high school when MySpace and Scene and Emo were all a whole big thing. And I was really, really wanted to do the Scene Queen look, but I just didn't have the resources and I didn't have like the permission. I was not allowed to do the raccoon stripes in my hair. It made me really sad. But now, as an adult, I'm realizing I've gathered the wardrobe and I have everything that I need to be the scene queen that I always wanted to be. I still have all my bracelets from high school. I am so ready to nail this challenge. I figured I'd start out in my uh, Pon and Z made you a cookie, but I eat it shirt. It seemed appropriate. I guess we're just gonna, you know, go ahead and regret our choices a little bit after I go through about a pound of eyeliner and destroy my hair. So, let's do this. I guess we're gonna start with makeup because that seems easiest. I have nothing happening right now. I reshaved my eyebrows because that's something that I didn't do in high school and it's, it's so perfect. I know I'm pretty washed out right now. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna end up looking like garbage anyway, but it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> Off screen to kind of apologize to my face and all that for what I'm about to do. Um, I just put on Cocoa Butter Lip Therapy, Milani Prime Light Primer, Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Eye Cream. Just, I'm sorry, body. I can't really do much to apologize to my hair, but to be fair, it's pretty greasy right now, so it should be a little bit more defended. Also, this was all platinum. Um, and then I went to a party for New Year's and hung out in the hot tub and didn't actually care enough about my hair and now it's just blonde and pink, which makes it even more perfect for this tutorial. Is it a tutorial? Are you guys just watching to like laugh at me? I don't know, whatever it is. We're just gonna go ahead and start doing shit to my face now. My plan here is to kind of do this in the same general way that I would do my makeup normally. I know that a lot of the techniques that I'm doing are not quite accurate to the scene queen era of just splotching shit on your face, but, you know, I'm trying to, like, be the, the scene queen I always wanted to be. So, we're gonna try and do this right. I'm gonna start top down, so eyebrows will, well, normally they'd be here, but we're, we're gonna see what we can do uh, with all this space. And then eyeshadow and eyeliner and then... I'll probably add in some contour and blush, even though it's hit or miss for being actually seen. I don't care. This is my aesthetic goals, and y'all are just gonna have to be with it. So this is Kiss New York Luxury Intense Lip Liner in black. It's just what I like to use for my eyebrows. And normally, I wouldn't use the black, but they're seen eyebrows. They're not supposed to look good. No better. And I'm just gonna seal that real quick with some black eyeshadow. In shade blackout. Shocking in my naked two palette from Urban Decay. No blending required here. Hi. And now onto eyeshadow. I'll probably be using my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette, my Electric Urban Decay palette. I've got this NARS in Eurydice. And probably using Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow in Starlit Glitter. Wet and Wild Matte setting spray to try and get a little more pigment. And this is Savage from the Electric Palette. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, this is great so far. This, this is looking wonderful. We're trying out this Rimmel gel liner in black. No. More eyeliner. More! Maybe I should just go with, uh, my good old Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. She seems to want to go on a little smoother. It doesn't really matter what you use, she's used a lot of it. Mix them. This is cute. Is, is this a good look? Okay, just glob it on for now. Because we're just going to put more black on top of everything later. It's nice and uneven. Alright. Now for more eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go ahead and darken the hell out of this. With both of these blacks that I've got going on. Oh god, it's coming to life and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna go ahead and just for a final touch. Just one more obnoxious color. You can never have another of those. So I'm mostly using the uh, thrash out of my electric palette. Yeah. Okay, so the eyes are good. Moving on. So even though highlight and contour wasn't really a thing, I'm still gonna do some of it anyway. L'Oreal True Match Blush, Subtle Sable. We got this MAC in a brown eyeshadow. Dolly Pink from Milani. <sighs> Forgive me. You know, let's just drive it home. Let's just... I'm gonna blend it out a little bit using some of this tart. Oh, this is so bad. I'm so excited. Dead White Face Powder from Spirit Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's working. I'm gonna throw in some of this radiant liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna go over that with the silver revolt. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> At this point, I'm trying to do some lip and finish up the eyes with some lashes, which I never used to wear, but you know. So this is NYX lingerie, not sure of the color. I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of this Tarte concealer just to like get rid of my lips. There's, there's no definition there. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with this Lime Crime in Mercury. I think we need a little something extra. There we go. It's a little more angst. Now for the lashes, these are the cream. Number 138. So the great thing about this look is that the placement doesn't even have to be that great because nobody's going to be able to tell. I'm using Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Oh, I'm so bad at lashes. Mascara to top it off. Try to be sure that you get a whole lot. There's a lot of lashes. Just get everybody to be friends. So with that, I think makeup is done. Finally. Next up is the outfit, and then I'll do hair, and then we'll be seamtastic. I'm going to start off with the core outfit, and then from there I'll do my hair and finish off with all the accessories. So, outfit, go! 
I don't know. I think uh, I think I nailed it. My sad as fuck shirt, my excessive belts, my pointless suspenders, two two skinny jeans. I don't know if y'all checked out the uh, custom chucks. They say Lauren, cause spoiler alert, that's my actual name. But shh, it's Lori here. It's now hair, and then we'll do some finishing touches. I'm gonna start off by just teasing the ever living crap out of the uh, top of my hair. I've already gone ahead and straightened into the fringe. Big sexy hair root point in there. For those worried about my hair, it's fine, because I'm just gonna shave it at the uh, like end of summer anyway, so it's cool. I'm allowed to destroy it. Ooh, my arms are getting tired, girl. <laughs> yep, yep, this is, this is exactly, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. The hair could be a little bigger, but again, for having such thick hair. From there, it's really just some final touches. Can't forget, do way too many hair accessories for me. Like, if you think it's too many, you probably got it just about right. Yara has to be offset very important. Let me do some more little final touches and then I will present the totally finalized look. This is the final look. These uh, fake piercings hate me. Seam Queen 2019. Rawr. My little uh, brass knuckles clutch and my gloomy bear. I've got my too many hair accessories. It looks like I got dressed inside out. And I kind of look like Hot Topic threw up. I think this is perfect. I think I nailed it. Feel free to leave me a comment with an idea of the next fashion challenge I should do. I have a crazy wardrobe. I can do anything from characters to something a little bit more on the goth side, just about anything. So I want to know what you guys want to see me do next. Be sure you subscribe. Smash that like button and follow me everywhere else on the internet. Glimmer Tits signing out. Mwah. Oh god, I can't stand myself.